Hey you, so today we're going to be looking at the Kasami figure from Dead or Alive 5 last round. Uh, this is C2 version, so I'm guessing we're going to be getting more of them. My favourite one was when she is in the kind of blue suit, that's my favourite one. So let's have a look at what you get. You get a lovely window display here, the actual figure, you can see different parts of her. Turn it around, you get a lovely uh, image of this figure. Uh, then you obviously get loads of different poses and stuff like that that she can do. I'm guessing also you get the kind of like bent over look that she always has. I used to have a figure of that as well. We've got a lovely uh, figure her. Another picture and then another picture down there. So let's open up this bad girl and have a look inside. So here is Kasami. Now I've got to admit it looks a lot like a sooner to be honest. Um, obviously you can see the kind of like face. You can see that the sh there's different shading on this, which is quite nice. So there's quite a lot of oranges and kind of like a smoky black in there. Her eyes are absolutely fantastic as well as her mouth. It's kind of captured it, but again, it kind of looks like it's a, uh, I thought there'd be a bit more kind of expression in her face. As we move down to her bust, we can see that it's obviously, it's quite large because that's what it's like with the character. Um, so we can see that the red goes around her, her breasts and then you've got a very nice big cleavage there. Um, you've also got the way that her kind of, I'm guessing like silk armbands um, kind of go up, which look really nice. They kind of ruffled yeah, and you can see there's some marks there and some marks there. Then we've got her sash. There's actually kind of, you can tell, it's like literally that's keeping a bust up. So obviously it's emphasizing quite a lot there. If we turn around here, we can see that she's got the choker. I'm guessing that it's just basically a costume all leading up to her neck like so. And we can see her ears poking out of her head like there or out of her hair. As we move down to the next part, we see that it's the cloth is kept everything together. It's tying it all down. You can see that there's loads of ruffles leading there. Um, we, on the armbands here, or the kind of like handbands, whatever they are, um, they're a very nice red. They're kind of really kind of textured and detailed. But as we move down to the next part, we see the top of the sash here. We can see that the material string is keeping like the front part attached there. And then we can see the kind of arm guards here with the yellow. The yellow and the white works really, really well. With the sword at the back, this thing here, this this kind of like yellow thing pops off really easily so just be careful I really like the way that you see her silk or her kind of like gloves kind of work together and I really like the fact that it works in here with the kind of hands perfectly I think that's actually a great thing and um, we can see that the kind of stockings or socks or kind of whatever she's wearing leads up here to her thighs and then we can see that there's quite a lot with the detail being in there so it looks like she's just pulled them up so as we come down to the bottom part this is what kind of annoyed me in the I don't know if it's in the box but her leg has been kind of like bent to one side so it looks like it's stepping in compared to where it's straight here so I don't know why mine was like that and when I tried to adjust it the leg did come off but it was easy enough to put on so we can see that she's got her shin guards here obviously they're gonna be probably padded so when she attacks someone that it's not gonna hurt them that much but the force of the blow will and um, we've got the red going all the way around uh, around it and you can see that there is some kind of crease marks which is fine um, I really love the way that the reds and the white and the yellow work together and it's a really nice costume as they are attached here as you can see the kind of meant to be the kind of string that attaches them to her feet and they're actually on the bottom of her costume so again it's actually kind of really cool as we look at the back we see that there's a load of like the yellow string it kind of works in uh, I noticed when I zoomed in a little bit that the paintwork isn't that great but again I, I'm not complaining a lot on that one. We've got the top of the sash and then the top of the socks. As we come to the next part, we see the sash going all the way up to the back. We can see more of the arm guards as well as the sword that she gets, as well as the kind of yellow tassel thing. If we tip forward, we can see that here is the logo of like her character, which is really, really cool. It really stands out and kind of reminds me a lot of Goku and the Dragon Ball Z kind of figure arts. Now, when I come to the back of the hair, I generally think of Asuna from Sword Art Online. In fact, that they could be sisters, uh, but I really like this. I, it's exactly pretty much, I'm guessing, the same as the back of it. You can see that the hair strands, you've got a little bit more kind of uh, black in there kind of like uh, uh, combined with the orange which I think looks spectacular. This part where we do the stress test so we know that the feet can do that kind of clicks you kind of turn them around like so just like so here oh now it decides to move the, the leg around so you can do that again 
So uh, legs bend here, kind of like bends there. And hand turns around here. Same thing with that hand. Oh, as I say, that does come up. So the arm can move up and down like so. You can turn it around if you want to. Like so. Again, the arm on this one moves up and down. You can turn it around if you want. It's a lot harder to do that one, but you can turn it around. So the head moves always. Oh, so let's move the arm down a bit. So the head turns all the way around, like so. Moves up and down, and then the torso moves. Oh, <laughs> the leg is a little bit kind of. Let's so stick that back on there. And the torso moves around like so. One thing that you kind of get is you, you do get another face, but for this one, you get also get another head. So we're going to take her head off the body here. And you get this one, which I'm guessing it's definitely for the one where she's like bent over. Um, but it, it's just weird that I've never really seen that you get two. Like normally you just get two different faces and the body is exactly the same. So it clicks in and the hair looks very different. You know, it, it's very well detailed and it looks absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, it's like if you want, obviously if you wanted to look over that way I, I like that sort of face where it's just looking over you know she's just won her match it's completely different compared to where her smiling head so let's just take this off and then let's swap over the the different heads but there we go there if you look at the head there it does give it a little bit more life but i kind of really wish that you had more faces um i from what i remember of the game you, she doesn't make that many facial expressions but it would be kind of nice to have like a, a proper smile or kind of like maybe an angry look or something very similar to Asuna. But yeah, I think it looks kind of cool. Let's have a look at the next part where she actually has a different set of legs. This is Kasami when she's actually bent over. And again, this really reminds me of the old figures of her in this pose. I don't know why she's in this pose. I don't know if it's a kind of like when she finishes them off or her victory pose or whatnot. But literally, the figure basically bends her over completely so she can't move that way. So obviously you can move the legs if you need to and her hands. But obviously you need this sort of hair to kind of like go with it. And obviously that sort of face. Now I'm guessing that even if you do change it over. So let's just try it with this, the different face on this one. Is it going to actually work a lot better or is it going to be roughly the same? So it does kind of give it a little bit more life. So it looks like she's looking up um, towards something. Um, I don't mind this pose, but I prefer her as she's in a stance rather than this one. Um, but it was kind of nice to kind of really remember back in the day of what I had a figure of her or a static statue of this. But it doesn't kind of give any sort of main pose mainly, apart from like looking there. <laughs> or, you know, it doesn't really add to it but again if you like this pose then obviously you can pose it in that way for as long as you like one thing with this body i forgot to mention is when you pull it out um so you have to pull it out like that way you have to also detach her legs too um because they go onto the main body which is a bit weird because i thought you would have got static legs that couldn't move um, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you know on that one. And there we go, Rangers. There is Kasami. Now, I've got to admit, this is a really nice figure. Um, I like her in this sort of stance because it looks a lot neater um, compared to where she's bent over. But uh, just posing her just now took so long. One of the poses that I generally like is when she's got a leg up a little bit. So if I did this just to kind of show, like she's got a leg up a bit, but... It's so top heavy that it just falls over and it took such a long time. Even with the kind of um, the stand, I had to put a bit of weight on it because it just topples over straight away. So I generally thought that they would have made the base a little bit heavier. So therefore it wouldn't fall over as much. Um, but to be honest, it's not a bad figure. I would definitely collect it. I'm kind of wondering if they're going to 
bring out the entire range. I think that would be kind of interesting. Um, but if they don't, this is quite a nice one, but I just generally hope they don't bring out the same sort of figure multiple times. I know she's got her black dress, she's got her blue dress. So this is going to be kind of interesting. I would have gone straight away for the blue dress, but maybe this is more recognized everywhere else. I don't know. Um, the figure is nice. I generally wish it came with another face. Um, you have the kind of like the nice face and then the smiling face, but maybe an angry face or something. I don't know. Something just to kind of give it a little bit kind of extra. Now, one thing... Um, that you do get are these like kind of bauble things. Um, I generally thought that they would have been be able to place on the dagger a little bit more. It feels like there's not enough to keep it on there and one slight touch it just falls off. So for me if I'm going to have this on display I'm not going to um, have it attached on there and I'll just leave it just in her kind of uh, sash just there or her sheath. I think that's it really. So this figure is nice if you want to collect it if you just want it just for it is cool go for it but if you want it for a collection i would probably wait and see if there are any other ones coming out so we're gonna leave it there what are your thoughts on this let me know down below in the comments and if you've liked this video like favorite comment and consider subscribing check that notification bell as always to notify you that when the new video is dropping and as always rangers thanks for watching and i'll see you in a bit